Hello and welcome to live at the showgrounds. Carrick Rangers are in town today. This fixture has not been kind to Carrick down the years. Cool Rain have won the last 11 between the sides. Now the bandsiders chasing down Linfield at the top of the table. They're currently 11 points behind the Blues, but with three games in hand. Let's see how this one fares today. Now the bandsiders beat Crusaders 2-0 last Friday night here. And Oren Kearney... Uh, the manager makes four changes. Aaron Trainer doesn't feature in the squad today. Curtis Allen, Aaron Jarvis and Jimmy Glacken are on the bench. Josh Carson, well, he'll revert to left back. Evan Tweed and Ian Park will play in midfield. James McLaughlin returns from injury uh, up top. It, it kind of looks that way to start with. Um, uh, or maybe they're just pushing their left back high, but time will tell. Uh, he's, he's a decent player and, and uh, he's a threat in the air with his size as well. So, uh, you know, he's, he's pitched himself against Carson here on the, on the left-hand side. Well, it's a super ball from Doherty to McLaughlin. Trying to pick out Nixon back to McLaughlin. Right across the six-yard box and somehow Carrick managed to put that over the top of their own barn. It was Stephen Gordon. Carrick kind of outnumber them size, but quite another threat here. Here comes that ball to McLaughlin. It's a decent ball. It was cleared by Smith initially. Doherty gets a chance again. Canning. The assistant on the far side has now gone down, David, and it looks as if he has maybe pulled a hamstring. Yeah, and the fourth official doesn't look that happy with him either. In fact, he skipped past Coleraine's club captain, Stephen O'Donnell. You don't regularly see that. Here's Nixon up against Gordon. Can pass to McLaughlin. And that's a fine challenge from the man who came on to replace Chris Ramsey. Some footballer he was too. And put it out. Have taken a 1-0 lead away at Dungannon Swiss. Lee Bonus with the goal there just before half time. So might we have one here. Here is Ben Doherty. Doherty! And indeed, here is Ian Parkhill. Can Coleraine break the deadlock? Parkhill. Hulk does well. Good intervention. Falls to Dockerty onto his right foot. Cross into the area. And I think it might have been Nixon with the last touch. And uh, that was the last touch of the half into the arms of Aaron Hogg. And uh, Tag Rangers in particular will be happy with the opening 45 minutes here. And again, it's a great little sideshow to watch. Now here Carrick have three on one. Gibson is wide on the right. Cather Freel joins the attack and the ball's into Kyle Cherry and he could tee it up here to Daniel Kelly. Josh Carson there, David, just needs to be careful not to get caught the wrong side. Yeah, and again, again, it's one of them. Sorry, Barry. Parkhill with the opportunity to cross. Fending from Stephen Gordon and was his leg taken. Jimmy Glacken as he went to pull the trigger. Went. The offer up. Glacken. That's off the woodwork from O'Donnell. And still Coleraine can't get it in. And Aaron Cannon! Such an unlikely source. And Coleraine went so close with the header. The ricochet back off the crossbar. Full credit to the Bansiders and to Aaron Canning. His first goal of the season. Such an experienced head at the back, and he showed there David Platt yeah. that he can do it up top two. 15 minutes to go by, just going to say, massive 15 minutes for Corey, and then, lo and behold, 30 seconds later, the ball's in the back of the net. Great, great ball on by Glacken, catch Lumphy Lebov. That's, that's the key, and it's taking away these points and taking off these games. Here is Bradley. Bradley's through! Goodness me. That must have been a fine tip over from Aaron Hogg. Bring Joshua Carson into the play. Thanks it to the back post. Here's Dockerty. Canning will come across to take the throw in. Seasoned uh, pro as he is, he'll not be in a big rush to take this either. Here is Canning. And there is the full time whistle from the referee, Evan Boyce. A single goal separated. Coleraine and Carrick Rangers who put up such a battle here.
uh, do you have any more grey hairs after that? <laughs> I think they're increasing by, by, by the week there. And um, listen, we, we knew exactly, and, and I hate it when people say, and they try and soften me and try and soften players with things like, oh, it's only Carrick or, or teams down around the bottom of the league. It doesn't exist in this league. And, and the biggest credit I can give Nal is I don't ever remember a time of playing Carrick in the last few seasons at any stage where we haven't had our fill of it from them and we haven't had it really, really tough. Um, and we drilled that into players all week. You know, we weren't, although everybody else is saying, oh, they've played a huge amount of games. Linfield beat themselves and they were beat by Lauren, they've been beat by Glentorn and there's been a few heavy games behind them. For, for me, I don't know why it is, but Carrick always turn up against us and we always we always have to go and earn our, our corn. Um, and we drilled that in Tuesday night, we drilled it in Thursday night and, and thankfully we had that level of focus today because it turned out to be that way. Um, quite a frustrating fixture, but one in which we've, we've managed to get our three points in. And how do we be very patient today, especially in the second half when we probably should have had a penalty? Um, yeah, it, for me it, it is, and on days like today, particularly when it's if it's three nil and that happens, you're not as concerned. When it's nil nil, you know that's what makes people agitated and, and becomes frustrating. Um, I'll give Evan credit, and he's come to me, and I hope he'll not mind me saying this. He's come to me after the game, saying he's seen footage of it, and he says he thinks it is. He thinks he's got it wrong, um, and I told him, listen, I respect him for that. You can only he can only call it as he sees it at the time. In live play, he's called it that it wasn't as much as it frustrated us and it hurt us. He's a human being, and he's been totally honest with us. Thankfully for us, it. Did didn't affect us. We kept going, and, and we got our three points. And any goal scores good, but it's nice to see players chip them from all over the park. It is, and, and today was one of those days maybe where it didn't look like from open play. It was very cluttered, and we couldn't find space. And it didn't look like from open play that we were going to get that opportunity. And um, you know, we always had our centre halves about scoring goals. Davies rose really well for the first one to head it off the bar. And you know, Arn popped up in the right place to put it in the back of the net, which was which was super for us. I mean, I enter a heavy run of fixtures starting with Glasgow on Tuesday night. Yeah, and. Again, it's another one of those places where, for me, I couldn't think back and say that it's, you ever get a good, uh, an easy game there. And Glenavon, for me, are in a good place at the minute. They've had, they've shown good form of late, um, and for us, we need to be a lot better than we were today. Well, Aaron, there are no easy games in the Irish League, and uh, today just proved that. Yep, no different um, than Crusaders last week, and no doubt Glenavon and Tuesday night, they're, they're coming thick and fast, and every game is going to be a battle from here on. You had to be patient today. Is that something you think the squad has learned even since you came back? Yeah, yeah, the squad's grew and experienced in terms of getting the goal and then learning how to close games out now. That's what's really, really crucial. So, yeah, they've grown big time for that. And the big talking point in the second half was, was the penalty. Do you think it was a penalty in Jimmy McLaggen? I was really far away. I um, was not going to stand here and say definitely or definitely not. I don't know. It was too far away. So. And talk through the goal, Steve O'Donnell hits the crossbar and you're in there to, to blast on the rebound. Stevie O was unlucky, you know what I mean, and just by luck it fell to my feet and I hit it. And there were bodies everywhere and just I'd, I'd found a way in, so I'm happy with that. And uh, you chipped in with a fair few goals last season, I think that's your first of the season today. Any Set any targets for you in the campaign? I never have set targets, I've said it before, it's clean sheets as targets for me, but ideally I would like to chip in with more goals as well. And Glenavon now on Tuesday night, a uh, tough place to go. Mm -hmm. Born view is tough, but... <laughs> As a question you asked me, I don't go everywhere, it's tough to go, so it doesn't really make a difference. Um, every every game's a cup final, such now, if we want to go where we want to go. And Glavin, pretty unpredictable team, they beat Glentorn on Tuesday night and then lose to the Glens today. So. Exactly, but that's how it's like, and, and that's, how, that's what happens in this league. So, listen, we can only focus on, on where we, what we do, and not anybody else, and hopefully we can keep doing what we're doing.